Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. I'm coming to you today with something a little bit different than I normally do. Now, you may have seen my last video where I talked about my scale being a little bit wonky. So what had happened was I got on the scale a couple times for my normal weigh-ins and it was giving me like a 10 to 15 pound loss, which we know is highly, highly improbable, especially the way I've been doing lately. Yikes. That happened a couple times. So I changed out the battery, seemed fine for a little while, and then it started doing it again. So I know it has a brand new battery in there and it just still wasn't working. So it's time to say rest in peace to my trusty healthometer. God, this thing is so dirty. Gross. The scale that I had my heart set on was the Fitbit Aria 2, which is a Wi-Fi scale that connects with your Fitbit, which as you guys know, I use pretty heavily. I have a Fitbit Versa 2 that I just adore and it helps keep me on track with a lot of things, but most importantly, my exercise goals. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a scale that just kind of wirelessly, no effort, puts all the data in there that I want to see. The Fitbit Aria 2 comes with a pretty hefty price tag. It's about $130 and Target was completely out of them. So I figured I better just look at some of the other options that they had. So the really nice associate out at Target said, hey, you should go check out some of the other scales in the bathroom scale section. There are some other Wi-Fi options over there if you don't want to wait to order the Fitbit Aria 2 online. And I'm so glad he suggested that because I think I found another option that was pretty much half the price of the Fitbit Aria 2, but does all of the things that I wanted it to do. So the scale that I picked up is the Weight Gurus Bluetooth Smart Scale. So this scale has some pretty neat specs and it does everything that I was looking for. So what this actually will track and it will sync up according to this with my Apple Health or Fitbit device. It has a couple of other things here too. Google Fit and then it says plus more popular apps. I don't know which ones, but it has the ones that I use, so that's what I care about. But this Weight Guru scale says that it measures your weight, BMI, body fat percentage, muscle mass, water weight, bone mass, and then it has a back clip. So this should be really interesting. I'm pretty excited to check it out. This is by the company Greater Goods, and it says on the back of the box here, it says, at Greater Goods, we design thoughtful products and attempt to live life thoughtfully in the world around us. See how our friends Meds and Food for Kids produce a life-saving nutritional supplement in Haiti at the link below. And then it says greatergoods.com forward slash give. So we might check that out later because I like companies that do things for a good cause. So what I'm going to do now is I will go ahead and open this up on camera, kind of show you guys what it looks like straight out of the box. And it is nighttime. It is actually 7.30. I've already eaten dinner. So I'll do an initial weigh-in, but let's just say that it's not going to be like an official weigh-in for me because obviously I've been eating all day. It's going to be way up and not what it normally would be. So um, this week's weigh-ins will be a little bit wonky and we'll just take that for what it is. And then um, hopefully after this Friday's weigh-in and the next weigh-in, we can start having more normal. And then we'll have more stats to look at too, which I'm kind of excited because you guys know I'm a big old data nerd. It was something that I did for a long time at my previous job. It's something I do every single day at my current job. So I like playing with numbers and percentages and things like that. So I think this is gonna be fun for me. So why don't I stop talking now and let's start unboxing this thing. All right, let's get this thing open. So show you just a couple of the words on the box. There's a lot of information on here, but it's showing you what exactly it measures and views and then some of the devices that it works with. I should note that along the bottom of the box, it actually shows some um, devices that it works with. It says Android phones, Apple phones, and some tablets. On the back, it gives you a little advice on how to sync it and how to use the app. 
And then that little bit of information that I already told you about their nonprofit work. All right, let's open it up. Nice little carry tab here. If that was the only thing you were buying in the store. Trying not to rip the box. I don't know why I'm never gonna use the box again, but whatever. All right, so we can see this is pretty well packaged. These cardboard guards on the side are pretty sturdy, so I'm not expecting any damages to the product. Just stick that back in there. Oh, I'm dropping things on the floor. Looks like the instructions. Oh, I dropped that too. Whoopsie. That's okay. Wow, this is so nice. It's pretty sturdy feeling. Um, it's a little thicker than the old scale that I had. You can see that it's already got the batteries in, so let's pull that tab out. See if that turned it on automatically somehow. And yep, it turned on, yay. Um, this is a sticker on here. I'm gonna try and peel that off. We'll need that. This is really nice. I really like this sleek design. Look at these booklets that fell. So it looks like a registration card with a registration website and the product number and also some company contact info. And then also the instruction manual. I like that it says traditional paper manual. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It's also got the website on there too, so you can follow the instructions online if you choose. I guess if you don't want to use a traditional paper manual. Seems pretty straightforward. Looks like a lot of information in here, but it's showing what all the symbols on the scale mean. And then there's also some information on how to set up your device. I'll take a deeper look at that maybe later. So let's go back to the scale because man, I really love the design of this. It's a very heavy, so I feel like this is sturdy, like it would take a lot to beat it up. And these metal conductors, I'm assuming, is how they measure your body weight and, and BMI and all that. Because um, it does take body weight percentage and water weight too. So it must emit some kind of signal through those pads. It's got one button on the back and these little feet here are really, really sturdy. I'm really impressed by these. It's like a very thick rubber. So I'm not worried about this slipping at all. Very nice. I'm very impressed by this. I'm excited to get on. So let's get to it. No, oh, first we have to sync the app. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the App Store and search for the Weight Gurus app. Now you can download this without the scale, so if you wanted to kind of see what that looked like before you went out and bought it, you could certainly do that. So I will go ahead and download that. And just give it a minute to install. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'll allow notifications for now until I decide that it's annoying and I'm going to have to sign up for an account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in some basic information here. And now it's asking for my body information. So I'm five foot four and my last weigh in was like 263 point something. I'm just going to go ahead and put 264 for right now, which kind of sucks. It's going to say that I gained because I'm going to do my initial weigh in and my jeans and stuff. I am a female. And I am definitely not an athlete, but that's okay. I want to lose weight. And I'll go ahead and enter my goal weight as 185. Whoopsie, 185. There we go. Next. 
Uh, I'm gonna cut this part out, but it is asking me to set up an email and password, just so you know that's what it will ask for next. Okay, I'm set. Let's go ahead and sign up. Yes, I would like it to use Bluetooth. And now it's time to set up my scale. This is a Bluetooth scale, and I'm gonna just scroll down this list and pick my scale. I actually was looking for the item number on the box, but it's not there. Then I realized that it's actually showing pictures of the scale so you can see it. Okay, let's get started. I am gonna be user one, so we'll select that. Okay, I've gotta click the button on the back. And my scale is doing all these things that it's showing in the animation, so we are looking good. Okay, now it wants me to step. Okay, let's go ahead and do our initial weigh-in. It is ready for me. You do have to weigh in barefoot, so keep that in mind. That's about what I expected after eating all day. And this should now sync up to the app, so let's take a look. Okay, so it is syncing, and let's see, there it goes. Okay, very cool. Go ahead and click done. Setup is complete now. That was easy peasy. So let's take a look at some of the stats. It asked me for a nickname, but I'm the only one that's going to be using it, so I'm going to ignore that and just click the done button. Cool, so there is the weigh-in. It says 270.2. .2. It shows my body fat percent which is scary, my muscle mass, which is sad, my water weight, which is average. I don't know how, I don't know what that's supposed to be. We're gonna have to look into that. And then my BMI, which is about what I expected. Cool. So we've got some stuff we can click. It says I gained 6.2 pounds because I put in my initial weight as 264, which we know is more accurate since I haven't been eating all day shows weight history. Wow, this is super cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up to my Fitbit. So back in the app, I'm gonna click on integration and Fitbit, and it's gonna ask me to log in, which I will do with my face ID. I'm gonna allow it to sync all of that information. And that's it, I just have to go back into the app and it looks like I am done. Sweet. Well, that was very easy. I'm very pleased with this. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about my new scale. Didn't love that weigh-in, but hey, at least it'll tell me that I lost a bunch on Friday morning when I do actually weigh in. So I'm really anxious to see how the stats go. Um, has anybody ever used one of these types of scales? Did you find it accurate? What did you think? Drop me a comment below. If you're new here, please be sure to like this video and then go ahead and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of my updates, including my weigh-in, which is coming up this Friday. I'm super pumped to see how it goes, especially with this new scale. So until next time, I'll see you real soon.